It was a strange sequence of play, really, you know, where Edinburgh turned down a shot of goal, um, have this sequence of scrums, you know, and we'll look back at what's actually going on there. Um, but ultimately, we end up with a guy in the bin, um, then Edinburgh score uh, shortly afterwards, and then we end up with another man in the bin. Um, so, as you say, like 13 men. Uh, I thought the players do well during that period, generally speaking, you know, even though we... You know, there was a couple of line-ins that didn't go our way. Um, you know, I thought just the, the fight and dig in um, and I suppose the adaptability piece as well, whereas they're able to you know, <laughs> come up with a plan um, given the circumstances that we faced. Uh, and then we get, to, we get back to 14 men and then we get another line up there and we get the score and obviously get back to 15 men then before half-time, then score straight away. You know, James Lowe, great chase from the kick-off and bundle guy into touch and then we score pretty quickly after that. So that period, yeah, so you score either side of half-time um, and then there's a, it's a different sort, of ref, different sort of slant on the game. So, um, yeah, that period is pleasing. The players kicked on well. I thought the bench again, good energy from those guys coming off the bench. Um, you give a try there at the end, you know, like Edinburgh, a good team. So, um, overall, we're, we're pleased. We started the game well. I thought, I thought that early part was good. We just, you know, we have a try this loud for, you know, some, I'm sure it was obstruction, I think, and we missed a couple of kicks. So, we missed some chances earlier in the game. Um, you know, but the the period, you know, just you know, when we kick, when we just before half time, obviously getting that try just on half time, and then the period after that, I think was uh, was a good period for those. That was a good patch in the game for us. So, um, yeah, overall we're we're pretty pleased. Um, get a break now next week, and then we're back in for thirteen weeks in a row. Well, it means a lot first and foremost to the players. I think when they play here, you know, in front of a home support. So the crowd, I thought, were fantastic tonight, um, and it, it, you know, it's the players respond to what they get from the sidelines as well. Um, you know, so. Thank you to the support. I think you know there's a lot going on, obviously on at this time of year, and I thought there was an amazing atmosphere there. So uh, the players feed off that energy that they get, um, and yeah, the the way I think the players are applying themselves in training, the competition amongst the group, it's all leading to you know players when they get out there and play know they need to play well as well. So there's that responsibility to perform in front of the crowd, but there's also you know the the pressure amongst the competition in the group as well, which is which is pushing guys on. So, um, you know, whenever the World Cup ends with Ireland, like we'll have guys come back in, and you know they're going to have to fight to get back into the team, and that's that's an important part of what we're trying to do as well. I think it gets a second in our conference. Hard to believe, really. Um, but the Cheetahs are seem to be scoring a lot of tries as well. Um, but yeah, no, overall we're pleased. Yeah, we're we're pleased with the level I think of competition within the group. Um, the A's are going to be playing in the Celtic Cup final on Sunday as well, so it's good to see them progress. Um, you know, so yeah, we're 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 reasonably happy with how the three games have gone. So um, you know, for everyone, it's just take a bit of a break now next week and come back in. As I said, we've a nice 13 game block to look forward to, um, which you know, which shapes what goes on then later in the season. You know, if you think that 13 game block, there's the six European games. They're the sort of the front and centre ones. Uh, there's the three of the pros over Christmas, um, a few other games in on top, so um, get the calculators out there, let's, what does that mean? Four left, four of the pro 14 games, um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big period for us, um, and it really shapes where what the last block of the season looks like, so obviously you've got to get enough points in Europe to navigate w your way through the pool, but you've obviously got to get out of your own pool first, and then once you get out of your own pool, then you're fighting against all the other pools as well. So that dynamic doesn't change. You know, we've talked about it plenty in the past. Um, and, you know, you see even what, what's going on in Japan, it's get your points on the board early because one never knows what is down the line um, is the moral of the story. So, um, you know, and that's our attitude. You know, we want to make sure we get points on the board in the two competitions that we're playing in early. So then we're not relying on anybody else where it's everything is in our control um it's very cliched perhaps but like that's just the reality of what we're dealing with so that's brilliant yeah you know like and you know i said it last week uh, amazing story again for those slightly later developers um so miss out on that academy cycle it's you know what's the moral of the story just you got to 
keep plugging away and going well at your club and you know the communication is good between us and the clubs and um you know we're trying to see as much as we possibly can and we're we're always happy when club coaches give us a ring and say well have a look at such and such here um what do you think and we'll be more than happy to have a look at them so um it's yeah it's a huge part of the game still um because you know, especially in specialist positions, really sometimes it's it's good for you know the, the, that consistent game time in clubs and whether they don't, whatever way that works out with the academy, some of the opportunities that arise and you know, there's a little bit of luck and chance and all those things as well. But you know, Roan came in on a short-term trial essentially, um, got extended now, so he's he's around for the season and he's uh, he's been good. So um, yeah, it's a good story.